Saving the planet's all very well, but it's not always that much fun. We wanted to make it a bit more interesting by hacking some carbon emissions information into Minecraft, which we've done using Minecraft mod tools and the Amy API. Uh, this is Minecraft. If you're not familiar with it, just, well, just have a look on YouTube. Um, it's a infinitely generated world where you can, you know, pick up blocks, destroy them, rebuild them into other things. Um, and this is all very nice. Um, but, you know, we want to bring a bit of environmental stewardship to the thing. So one of the things in Minecraft is that you can make things. One of the ways that you make things out of other things is by smelting them in a furnace. So, for instance here, we have a furnace and we can cook some beef by burning some wood. Now, that looks good, that's going to start cooking away. And as you notice, up in the top corner of the screen there, there is a counter, uh, which is popping up for every bit of wood that's burned. What's actually happening is that every time a piece of wood is burnt in that furnace, a call is being made to the Amy API, which is going off, it's using um, the IPCC stationary combustion methodologies for wood, in this case. So that's all very well, that's going to keep counting up as it burns more and more wood. We're going to keep pumping some carbon into the atmosphere. Obviously we can cook with different things, so we can burn planks instead, they're you know, slightly less uh, carbon intensive because there's not as much. You can make four planks from one bit of wood, so not quite as much wood there. Um, and likewise with sticks, we can burn those. Again, they're even less intense, uh, even less carbon per stick. And so on and so forth. So these are all going to sort of count up. We can even burn saplings. In there. They burn really quickly, um, but have hardly anything to them. So let's uh, take these back out again. We've finished cooking our beef. More. And you see, we've already pumped 300 kilos of carbon into the atmosphere. And this is all done through the AMI API. As I say, it's going off doing a web service call whenever an item's burned in one of these furnaces, and it's working out uh, based on the uh, mass of the item that's been burned, which, to be honest, I had a bit of an educated guess at. Um, and working out what it would be if pumped into the atmosphere. Obviously, one more thing we can do is we can burn coal. So you can find coal underground in Minecraft. So as we burn that, that's going to pump out more and more carbon into the atmosphere as well. So that's pretty good. As you can see here, you know, it was a it was a nice sunny day. So it's starting to get a little bit murky. That's not that's not very nice. Um, obviously, though, there are other ways in which to pursue your wanton environmental destruction. Let's just pursue, have a bit of deforestation. What happens there? Set fire to some trees. Trees burn quite well. Quite nice. Keep you warm at night. And you can see the, uh, the counter there ticking up as the leaves burn away quite severely. So, let's... Uh, you know, deforestation, not good for the environment. Let's go and get rid of this coal. So that's, you know, quite, uh, quite nice. Uh, let's go find some more trees to burn. I really don't like the look at that one. Let's set fire to this one. Burn. There we go. So that's going to burn as well. It's, yeah, weather's, weather's not so nice. So, uh, well, what else is in this world? There are lots of lots of animals around. There's a cow, for instance. Uh, what can we do that? Is this uh, you can uh, get beef from cows, um, which is what we were cooking earlier on. But uh, one interesting way to get beef is to actually try and set fire to a cow. So come back here, come back, cow. Stop it. I'm going to try and set fire to you. What's wrong with you? There we go. Oh, they don't like that. Oh, he's really not happy, and whoa, what just happened to the sky? We've just pumped out a huge amount of carbon 
cow is 600 kilos of pure biomass. That's equivalent to burning a lot of trees. So the clouds have gone black. The, the, the clouds have actually come down to uh, a little bit lower. It's not, not a very nice place to be now. So we're going to just try and make the place a bit nicer. We'll uh, do a bit of uh, carbon offsetting by planting a few more trees. As you can see, as we plant the tree, the amount of wood and so on that's, uh, that's in it gets added up and uh, pulled back out of the atmosphere. Nice thing about trees. Plant some more. It's still a bit murky. There we go. Mm. Now I think it's getting towards night time. So we've modelled um, a number of objects, a lot of the things that you can burn, a lot of the uh, uh, biomass type emissions like cows and sheep and pigs. We can uh, work out the uh, work out what the emissions from setting fire to those. Uh, again, this is all using Amy data. Um, you know, we have to assume that cows are just made of generic biomass, but still, that's fine. Uh, nice sunset there. And at sunset, all sorts of nasty creatures come out. So, once the sun goes down, we'll soon find cats and chickens having a swim. Let's go find some monsters. Various monsters that come and hunt you in the night, and then zombies, they're, um, they're a favourite, they burn quite well. Um, roughly 75 kilos of biomass. Oh, and these are, uh, these are a classic Minecraft creature, this is a creeper. And these explode and they get near you, and they emit carbon when they do so. R about the same as a pig, about 50 kilos. So that's uh, that's carbon emissions in Minecraft. Um, you know, you can be digging away underground, smelting things, come out to a blackened hellhole of an environment, and then clean it up by planting a load of trees. So it just brings that extra level of uh, environmental realism to the virtual world. Thanks very much for watching.